Hello everyone, Feurig is here with another tutorial for AMA 3. Today we'll be talking about sounds, conversations and lip syncing, a requested topic and quite a big topic to be honest and I'm gonna try and keep this video simple unlike some other ones where I occasionally wander off a little bit or make several semi-related examples. In this video I'll try to stay on tracks the whole time, we'll go through the entire process and at the end we'll have a simple conversation between three people where you start with something and two AI soldiers will then tell you something more about the topic. Now let's start with the sound itself. We'll of course need some actual recordings first that will be then added to the final mission and you can use some already recorded tracks that you can download from the internet or record your own, which is what I'm going to do here. For recording and editing sound files I would recommend you to use Audacity software. It is free to use, very powerful and quite easy to use as well and it can do everything that we need. I'm already recording this audio in Audacity so I'll open another instance and now all that is needed is to press the big red button to start recording. I'll record the sentences one by one just to keep things simple. Uh, let's make the first one. So what do you think about this war gentlemen? Stop right here. So this will be the initial question that the two soldiers will try to answer. I can now play it back or even cut the unnecessary parts, even add some effects. I usually cancel out the background noise, but I'm not gonna do it here. Once all of that is done, click on tracks up here and select stereo track to mono. It is absolutely vital to make this change to mono channel, otherwise you will get errors along the way as we continue making the discussion, so make sure you have converted the track to mono channel. So we can save the first line, I'll give it the name player line underscore one and I want to save it as WAV file WAV first. So let's save it and now just to save us some time, let's save it again, this time as OGG format. I need the OGG format to play in the mission itself because Arma only supports OGG custom sounds. So this will be the sound file that will be in our mission folder and the WAV file will be used for lip syncing. So now that we have two files, playerline underscore one dot wav and playerline underscore one dot ogg. Perfect, so I'll now record the other lines as well. And since it's only me over here and I got nobody to do voice acting for me, I'll have to do all these voices myself. So please just forgive me and <laughs> yeah, let's let's go. We'll soon win, and all those dogs will have to serve us. They might not want to, but I think it will only be just. Alright, edit and save, let's move to another one. Oh, hold on! Why are we fighting though? Shouldn't we try to achieve peace instead? We'll be in peace with them once they are conquered and defeated. Destroying our opponents won't bring us much good. We should ride and live with them instead. Alright, so I have all of these files ready now, we have a question and four answers, so that's a very rich and entertaining dialogue. And of course we'll want to do some lip syncing to add some realism to the mission and show that we are capable of doing absolutely everything. We'll use the web files for that and we'll also need Arma 3 tools. You can install the tools just by opening Steam, clicking on library tools and then selecting Arma 3 tools. I already have the tools for quite some time so I'll open it right away and in this section audio we'll click on the folder icon to the right. A folder opens with a few programs and we'll use wav to lip Basically these are the official audio related tools for modders and mission designers. wav to lip creates lip syncing files and wav to vss converts to another sound format that you can find in large quantities in the in-game folders for environmental sounds and effects mostly. The easiest method is to take the sound file, drag it over the EXE and it will automatically generate another file for you. 
of the same name as the sound but with the extension .lip. Do that with all five recordings, just move the sound file above the exe and it will automatically generate the lib file for you. If you are interested in what exactly the lib file actually is or how it was created. Or maybe if you wish to edit the file a little, even though I really do not recommend it and won't help you with it, it can be opened with the simplest text editors. Lib file is nothing else than a series of frames and corresponding numbers where each number represents a different position of the person's mouth. So that is what is happening. The game tries to find words in your sound file and then match some lip movements to those words. Once you are done, we can move to the mission folder. Make a subfolder sound over here and that is where all the sound files are gonna be located. So open the subfolder sound and move all the sounds here. You want to move all the OGG files and all the lib files. At the end you should have playerline underscore one dot OGG and playerline underscore one dot LIP, soldier one line underscore one dot OGG and soldier one line underscore one dot lib and so on. Ten files in total. The web files will no more be used, you can delete them now, they were only for the lip syncing part. So let's do a brief recapitulation. We have recorded five different lines in Audacity. We have saved all of them as individual files and each one with the extension WAF and OGG. Then we took the WAF files to the Arma tools where we generated five lib files. At that point we abandoned the original WAF files and took all OGG and lib files to the mission folder. More specifically we moved them to the sound subfolder that we have created in the mission folder. Good, so now we can continue and do another step. Definitions and configuration. Now we will tell the game where to look for the files and what to do with them. Now you have some options over here. I will follow the rules set by other tutorials on the internet so that you aren't very confused. In the mission folder we will create a new file called texts.bikb. This is a file that is recommended to be used with conversations and verbal communication. If you go and read other tutorials, you are most likely going to find them using this file type as well. The extension is short for knowledge base or something like that and is the recommended file type for storing conversations. However, if you really don't like making new files, you can also do the same in description.txt or pretty much any other file type that will hold the same data. Open the file, I'll be working in texts.bikb. In a text editor I'm using Notepad++, a classic notepad would suffice as well or any other similar software. We'll define the individual lines, assign sound files to them, if you wish even add subtitles. Now if you are from the old school like me, from the times of Operation Flashpoint or Arma Code War Assault, you might want to define individual sounds and then use say or say 3D commands to make soldiers say the individual sounds. Well that is no longer the correct method, as I discovered pretty recently actually, Arma 2 introduced a new conversational system and Arma 3 makes sure that it is going to be the only one functional system from now on. Anyway, so you can copy the code from pastebin page below the video. We'll be using the class sentences and for each line we have the following parameters. The name, which you should remember as it will be later used to identify which sound to play. I'll use the same name as the sound file. So player line underscore one, soldier one line underscore one, soldier one line underscore two and so on. Next we have the text, which is basically subtitles. These are shown in the bottom right corner along with other radio chatter. Speech is the path to the sound file itself, so it is the mission folder, subfolder sound, file named playerline underscore one dot OGG. Actor is the unit that speaks, in this case it will be the player, in the next one it will be soldier one. Variant is an alternative text, we will not use that, nor use the variant text line and the arguments can be used to call scripts based on the conversation and we'll not use it either over here. So we'll define all five sentences like this. So I have the first one for player, it will have subtitles as well, the actor will be player and the sound we already know. The second and third classes will belong to soldier one, we have prepared two answers for him, 
so we'll define both of them and we'll do the same for Soldier 2 in the last two classes. As you might have noticed, there are a few other definitions at the end. Arguments, special, start with vocal and start with consonant. And to be honest with you, I do not have the knowledge to feel confident enough to tell you what it does or what is the purpose of these lines. I'm very sorry for this severe lack of knowledge on my part, but it works and I always copy it, so add these lines at the end of the BIKB file. Now for the last step, before we can start celebrating and finally see our work, we'll need a script that will control calling individual sounds to form the conversation itself. The good thing is, as long as there is a lip file in the same place and with the same name as the sound file, the lip syncing will be done automatically. So the only thing we need to do is to have the lip files named the same as the sound files and have them in the same folder. So let's do it, at long last we'll make a script and I'll call it conversation.sqf. Open it and we'll write the following lines. Player KB at topic, the arguments are as follows. A name of the topic, it can be pretty much anything and only source for better orientation. Next we have to define where all the sentences in the topic are defined. So in our case that will be the text.bikb. Not to the files themselves, only to the file where they are defined and configured for the game. The next two arguments are optional one for FSM files that we'll definitely not work with right now and the last one for event handlers that we won't use either. So the last two arguments can be just empty strings. We will add the same conversational topic to all three participants just so that the game knows that all three men will be talking to one another. All three soldiers will get the same topic as they all will be talking about one thing. Now that we have some topic, we'll add individual lines to soldiers. We'll use kbtel for that and the arguments for this command are the unit that is supposed to talk, kbtel, brackets, the unit that will receive the message, the listener, the topic name and the line name itself. Once the first line has been set, we need to wait in the script before we have the other soldier to say his response. Of course, people usually need to hear out the question before they can answer it. And I will show you two ways to handle a situation. You can use the command sleep to sleep a specific amount of time. That is very simple and you only need to know the length of the recording. So if the first question is 5 seconds long, we can write sleep 5.5 and then make the soldier respond. Another way that doesn't require you knowing the length of the sound is to wait until the line has been set. We can use the command kb was set and right after the sentence has been set we can get the answer right away. We will use wait until with the command so it will look like this. Wait until brackets unit that talked kb was set brackets unit that received the message topic name sentence name and the time in seconds that has to be searched. The game pretty much looks into the past couple of seconds to see if the sentence was set in that time. So with these two commands we can set up the entire conversation. So let me do that right now. Alright, we have all sentences configured the way we want them to be. After calling each sentence we wait until that sentence has been set and then move to the next one. The player starts with a question, then we have a brief pause of 0.5 seconds, the first soldier answers with his first line, the second soldier tells his first line to the first soldier, the first soldier replies back and the second soldier ends the conversation with his second line. After all sentences have been set and finished, we have one more command over here, a simple hidden conversation finished to mark that we have reached the end of the script. That way we can be sure that we have safely executed all the commands and there are no errors in the script. Let's open the mission editor, all that we need to do is to call the script with the conversation. I will keep it simple, make a trigger, link it with player through F2 groups and once he is in this area we will call the script 0 equals to brackets exits vm conversation.sqf. We don't need to pass any arguments, everything is already defined in the files. 
lip syncing is taken care of by the game automatically, the individual sound files are ready in the game folder, we have a script that calls those lines and we have all soldiers prepared, soldier 1, soldier 2 and player. Let's preview the mission. So what do you think about this war, gentlemen? We'll soon win, and all those dogs will have to serve us. They might not want to, but I think it will only be just. Oh, hold on. Why are we fighting, though? Shouldn't we try to achieve peace instead? We'll be in peace with them once they are conquered and defeated. Destroying our opponents won't bring us much good. We should ride and live with them instead. Alright, so I would say that it works quite well. We have people talking, moving their lips, it's acceptable. Of course, there are some more things that can be done with the conversational system. However, we won't go into more details right here. All I wanted to show you was a simple conversation and we have achieved just that. However, there is one more command that you should know about. Set random lip that only needs two things, unit set random lip true or false and it allows you to have a unit randomly moving their lips without needing the lip file associated to the sound. So you can play sounds by any method you want and use set random lip to simulate at least some form of lip syncing, even though it will obviously look strange in some situations. On the other hand, even the lip files aren't perfect of course. And if the game fails to properly recognize the words in our sound files, the result will be just as bad. So this has been the tutorial on conversations. I hope you've been able to follow all these steps and that they make at least some sense to you. I don't think I will continue with advanced conversations anytime soon, mostly because I don't really use this myself that much, but anything can happen in the future. So that's it for this video, I hope to see you all in the next one, comment, like and share, and have a great day!